Hello. Today we're going to talk about how to extend the life of a supervision order. A supervision order is an order sometimes made within Children Act proceedings to protect vulnerable children. Section 35 of Children Act defines a supervision order in the following terms. It empowers the public authority who is the supervisor to advise, assist and befriend the supervised child and to take such steps as are reasonably necessary to effect the order and to discharge the order when it is no longer necessary. Many a times in the family court I have heard the advocates for the public authority seek an order for a for a one year supervision order when the advocates for the parents would only agree a six months order. This video will explain the parameters for extending the life of a supervision order whether it was made for an initial period of six months or one year and we will also be considering what is an appropriate period for the initial order. In the case of T versus or T and Wakefield Metropolitan District Council, the citation is 2008 EWCA CIV 1999. I'm 199 pardon me the Court of Appeal considered this very issue of how to extend the life of a supervision order the Court of Appeal held that on the proper construction of the Children Act 1989 schedule 3 particularly at paragraph 6 it did not permit the making of a super supervision order of three years duration from the outset. Three years protection could only be provided by the making of at least two orders. The first a supervision order of 12 months duration and the second an order extending the first for a further two years. The court gave guidance concerning the practice to be followed in extending supervision orders. The Court of Appeal lay down several parameters for which I have identified six. In other words, six parameters for the extension of a supervision order. Number one, before any extension was sought, the need for and the acceptance of the ex exten extension should be canvassed in correspondence with the legal representatives of the parents. An inference from this guidance is that a file which a, within which a supervision order was made should be kept open or should not be closed until the expiration of the time limit on the order or in the alternative should be reopened three months to the expiration of the order. We would suggest that this applies to both the public authority, lawyers and the parents legal representatives. Number two the expiration with correspondence would reveal whether the, the extension was consensual or and if not the extent of the dispute. An inference I draw from this point is that the assessment undertaken when the life of the order should be disclosed in the event that an extension is sought 
so that the issues can then be narrowed. Number three, the issue of any necessary court application should not be delayed by the expiration of an agreement so as to imperil a local authority's imperative need for a determination before the expiration of the current order. The inference I draw from this is that if an extension is sought, it must be applied for before the expiration of the order. Therefore, two dates must be diarized by the local authority lawyers. The first being the date of their legal planning meeting, at least three months before the end of the supervision order, to consider whether or not an extension is required to safeguard the welfare of the child. And the second date is the date by the which the application for an extension must be issued. Number four, once the supervision order has expired, the public authority would be compelled to prove and the court to determine the section 31 threshold since the application would no longer be an application for an extension but an application for a new order. Number five, it is to be doubted whether there would be a need for an application to extend a supervision order of 12 months duration before the last quarter of its life. But how well within that quarter the application should sensibly be issued depended on the facts of each case. Number six. An inference can also be drawn where a supervision order is made for 12 months the public authority should inform the other advocates by the ninth month whether or not it will be seeking an extension to the life of the current supervision order. Parents' lawyers may well find it prudent to diarise this date and seek confirmation from the local authority whether or not the order will be extended. I also think that it seems to follow that the proposition of a six-month supervision order may not be attractive to the public body. The reason for this is that the cost of returning to court within six months appears wasteful when the order can be discharged unilaterally and the court may also deem it frivolous and probably premature. Another reason why six months supervision order should not be sought is that it may not allow for a proper assessment of the, of the progress being made by parents. A one year supervision order, on the other hand, allows for proper negotiation in the event that an extension is sought. We hope that you have found this information useful. We will be uh, doing other videos on supervision order, touching on the following points. Discussion on whether or not supervision order has been underutilized and what are the possible purpose it can be used for and circumstances when supervision order should be sought at the earliest opportunity. We hope that you have found this useful. Please visit our website at tinadu.co.uk. Thank you.